Welcome back, everyone, to the Cold War. I'm Uncle Tomat for Hots of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. America Lover, and right now we're doing saltwater nuclear engines. Our research has shown that we need specialized nuclear engines for our saltwater environment, which is where our carriers practically live. We need to go further in this field right away. Oh, yes, please. In which, up next, we're going to go do hydrofoil design studies. New studies on hydrofoils have given us the ability to greater, greatly advance our RHIB, or rigid hold inflatable boat technology, followed up with. Anti-submarine ballistic missiles. We have SLBM nukes, and now so do the tough Soviets. We need to create another kind of weapon to stop their subs from unleashing that deadly payloads. Oh yes. Also, right now we can do launch a B-52 bombing campaign in Cambodia. Well, there's resistance and states hostile to the Vietnam War by two percent. So apparently we are helping these guys out. Um. So yeah. Apparently, a Democratic Kampuchea has finally been released. Pol Pot's here. Very cool, Pol Pot. But uh. Yeah, I don't know. It, I wish some of these focuses were locked behind, like, times and such. Republic of Morocco. Well, what does this mean? Not paid licenses. Um, well, I guess that was the wrong one. How, how can we cancel? Cannot be canceled until... Why? So they just get set for free? Well, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Bombing campaigns? All right. The B-52 bombing run on the Khmer Rouge. Apparently, the U.S. has reached a tacit agreement with the Cambodian government, allowing it to bomb the Khmer Rouge sanctuaries near the border of Vietnam. Massive B-52 bombers have begun an intense bomb campaign of bombing, which has resulted in the destruction of material personnel and bases within the Khmer Rouge areas. The U.S. hopes its operations will prevent the flow of communist arms to South Vietnam and hinder Khmer Rouge operations by destroying the supply base. Although the damage is devastating and has had an effect. Ultimately, the Khmer Rouge seems to be adapting and are still able to conduct its missions despite the recent air, American air offensive. The U.S. is calling its bombing campaign Operation Menu. Good news! Yay! Bombing campaigns, we love it. Area Redev Development Act? Every single senator supports it. Go figure. Oh, we have quite a few folk, uh, research slots too, which is awesome. I love having a lot of available research slotterinos. But up next, uh, we're going to keep doing it this way too, maybe? You know? Oh, mutually exclusive with offensive. Fighter dragging sounds good to us. And, um, can we do that one too? I guess we can. Very nice. And what technology do we get done? Our Toad Artillery 3. So we even have even better artillery. So, um, anything here? Loans? Don't bother with us with loans. Anything for economic investments? Nope. Anything here for RGO or resource gathering operation development? Nope. Anything here to buy stuff equipment? Nope. Uh, don't care about Angola? Don't care about North Yemen. Apparently, a lot of you guys said in the last video I confused Oman and Yemen at the same time, so my bad. And that's pretty much it. Cool. What do we have over here? Not enough manpower. We need more anti-tank guided missiles. 82. And we need 72. So it's going down again, which is very nice, actually. And we're almost done with the hydrofoil design studies. Nice. So is there anything else we can do up here? Operation resistance. Well, we could probably do that. That'd probably be okay, right? Oh, yeah. Oh. King of Laos. I'm the rebels. Well, maybe do... Ooh. Agency upgraded. Air... S S America drug smuggling, huh? To aid the failing Laotian economy, we will use Air America passenger jets to smuggle drugs into the country. Ah, my favorite pastimes. Smuggling drugs. Don't quote me on that one. Alright, might as well get that one. Support, strike support, nice. It is, of course, 65. We're still going to get more stuff done here. Can we do this stuff yet? No, we cannot. Stuff over here? Sure, why not? Air transportable armored fighting vehicles with some water here. As we're trying to push through this uh, campaign, just see what else we can do. Also, we did go with heavy welfare spending. Um, like I said earlier, we deleted one of our navies, so we're making quite a bit of money. Most of the budget now goes to public spending, so it's not even the military anymore. So, But if that's the case, now I'm going to education some research speed, construction speed, office park construction speed. I like that. Ooh, population growth does go down. Minimum services. Um, infrastructure. Resource efficiency gain. Don't really need that one too much. Mm, healthcare system, huh? Efficiency cap, more efficiency cap, population growth, growth, advanced stuff, that's not bad. What about social policies? Anything that we really care about? I like the extra political power, so I don't want to change that one. Discriminatory minority rights? Nice. Um, pluralism gives you more stability and research speed. You lose research speed, but you get more drift defense and population growth and war support. Leadership crisis in Iran. Iran seems to be having a lot of problems, which sounds very historical, but still. Still. Uh, Public Broadcasting Act? Yeah, sure, we'll do it. And we barely have enough senators for that one. Cool. And how is Congress looking? 52 Democrats, 48 Republicans. Uh, 206 Democrats, 229 Republicans. It's a very s solid South. 
Wow, really blue here, really Democrat. It's weird to see, I don't know. Most of the South and Minnesota voting the same way. You, Joseph Marlin, I don't know what's wrong with his face. It's just like too much of a close up screenshot, but still. And if we need more support, we have enough political power for this anyways. So I'm really not too worried about what happens there. However, I would like to know what's the next conflict. Oh, a little bit of lag there, what's going on? I, mean, I did confuse these guys up last time, but they're not even at war with each other. Oh, I'm leaving them wrong. Oh, hello. Well, it is what it is. I love smuggling drugs. Arm the Royalists. The Royalists desperately need our military aid, both in the form of advisors and supplies. As we can't afford another communist nation in Southeast Asia, they will receive what they want. Sounds like a good idea. Follow it up with. Aid Royalist drug smuggling. And in addition to Air America drug business, we will also support local Loatian drug smuggling to prop up their economy. A smart idea. Everyone loves their drugs. And bomb the Patet Lao. Finally, after rearming the Royalists and training special units, we will conduct one of the world's largest bombing efforts ever planned and destroy the Khmer Rouge from the sky. They won't stand a chance against all the might of a modern superpower. Even though, eh. Did they change your name? Well, he looks like he's seen some better days. But anyways, um, Operation Shock. Operation Wandering Soul. Operation Wandering Soul plays off a of Vietnamese belief in a concept of the same name in which an improperly buried soul will walk around the countryside moaning aimlessly. In an attempt to scare the Viet Cong, we have placed speakers around our territory which will play eerie sounds and voices to simulate wandering souls. Operation Shock. In response to the uh, Ted Offensive, a group of CIA analysts led by George Carver devised Operation Shock designed to purge the AR... The end of corrupt officers and in case of failure to temporarily stop bombardment and negotiate terms of surrender with the North or to create a coalition government with the NLF. Follow it up with. Uh, let's do another one of these focuses down here. Um, embrace systematic doctrine. Our Air Force's role has changed since its inception and it's time for doctrine to change along with it. Embracing the systematic program will help with that. After the Tet Offensive took place, a small team of CIA analysts led by George Carver reacted to the attack by coming up with a plan called Operation Shock. The analysts were worried that the generals in the South Vietnamese government were grew too comfortable with the American military helping them, which would lead to growing support for the Viet Cong. The plan is to have the VP supervise a purge of all military and civilian officials guilty of corruption or other abuses of power. The team also mentioned the other solutions um, to turn the tide of the war this plan failed, including forcing the current president to resign and letting a war heel come into office, temporarily stopping bombardment of North Vietnam and initiate talks to try and negotiate surrender, or with talks of the National Liberation Front to possibly form a coalition government. Hopefully this will bring an end to their complacency. Cuban adjustments? Every every single senator, Republican and Democrat, love the Cuban people. Whether that's a good thing or not, eh, it's up to you to decide. I don't like any more organization. You know, I want more money, but what do we do with money? Like, seriously. 30% more organizations, that's, that's actually pretty darn strong. That's kind of ridiculously strong. But here, more marine stuff. I don't know how many marines we have, but I don't think it's that much. Um, we're building, hopefully, more stuff here. Oh, we need more renewables. Yeah, we could still use at least a few more renewables from here on out. Oh, look at all the space we have now. Oh, this is so nice. Uh, 12%, 19, yeah, go, oh, 25%. You know what, go with three, and then we're just going to build, 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 right there. Oh, South Dakota, not bad. Pretty darn nice. And, holy crap. Res Wait, why is resistance going up all ac across the south? Okay, I don't like this whole resistance thing. This is something I really don't... I, I understand, but I really don't like. Something that just doesn't make any sense to me. You need to have... The mod needs to have a better way of simulating resistance, in my opinion. Like, yeah, you should have discontent, but actual resistance where people are, like, trying to kill you? I don't like that. I really don't think that's very fair. But maybe that's just me. I'm just a guy on the internet, right? Look at all that. Literally across every single nation here. Or not nation, but every single state. Why? Something I seriously disagree with, man. So now we gotta put agents all over the place. God, this feels like I'm actually trying to do op like operations here and such. Look at that. That's ridiculous. We gotta spread it out some more. I literally need every single agent just to help put down resistance. That's so dumb. So now we, sh we should need a lot less. Right? Well, that's going down by three-ish. Yeah, that's not very good now, is it? <laughs> and then we're going to go and do... Cancel the XB-870. Continue the high-speed bomber development. I want high bomber development. The XB-70... Well, Valkyrie is designed to be the ultimate high-altitude, high-speed strategic bomber. Unfortunately, that was not the case in flight tests, and it's time to put this one back on the back shelf. 
Plans for high-speed bomber have been in place and underway for a while, and we need to continue them to add this VOD aircraft to our arsenal. Nice. But always don't, always remember the corporations. They always need their cut. Good or bad. Wow, what happened to our GDP? Egypt closes Tehran Straits. Interesting. Um, yeah, I just took a nosedive. Holy crap. It was 2.7 or so, I thought earlier. There's what we're making now, but... Holy crap! That just spiked up 41% GDP growth rate? What are we, a fourth world country? Ooh! Ooh, Italy's going to war. The Social Republic. Wait. Social Republic. Wait. How did the third... Italy! What are you up to, Italy? Um... The new Roman Empire. Ooh, hello there. Okay, they've gone off the deep end. Um, immigration, nationality, housing, and urban development. Yeah, it was that one. 82. 10th Olympic Winter Games. Very, 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 very nice. And where are we at for this stuff? We don't have one, just because the game just is, like, demanding that we have so much resistance and such. And now we're going to need even more energy. How great! But, can we send you volunteers? Ahmed al Senussi. Six bros, huh? Oh, which one do I want to send? They're not even naval invaded yet. What would we even do? We, oh, we can't send volunteers. Oh, we can't. Oh, huh? They don't like us. Neither side likes us. This whole resistance thing really just blows. Like, I don't like this at all. Why don't we have this cord? It occupies... That's That pisses me off. Seriously. This is America. Like, come on. Why? So dumb. Go and train if you need it, but like, bro. Bro. Well, the GDP is still pretty much in the gutter still. Still building ourselves up though, which is nice, but still. Like, bro. Yeah, with all this extra political power, 3.29 is actually pretty darn good. Counterinsurgency stuff, might as well. And we have another agent, too. Oh, the Moroccan Empire. I kind of do want to see what Italy can do, though. National, support people's campaign, okay. The FBI would not be proud, or pleased. Yeah, well, what else is new? Yeah, I'm thinking about, huh. Third positionism. Or third position. Monarchists. Alright. And... We'll do Operation Resistance after we do... Ah, we'll do it now. Why not? Resistance is a sister project to Merrimack, focusing on college campus organizations, especially radical student groups that have been speaking out against their policies in Vietnam. Those help us keep status with people who might join the communist movement. And on the anti-war movement. The anti-war movement's been a thorn in our side, reducing our ability to fight in Vietnam, lowering our domestic approval and stability, and hurting our global prestige. We need to undermine it before it gets any worse. Operation Resistance. Operation Resistance, or Project Resistance, was well, a domestic espionage operation coordinated under the Domestic Operation Division of the CIA. Its purpose is to collect background information on groups around the U.S. that might pose threats to the CIA facilities and personnel. Starting in 67, many local police departments, college campus staff members, and other independent informants collaborated with the CIA to keep track of student radical groups that oppose the U.S. government's foreign policies on Vietnam. Project Resistance and the twin program, Project Merrimack, were both coordinated by the CIA Office of Security. In addition, the twin projects were branch operations that relate to civilian information to the parent of programs, Operation Chaos. This is certainly illegal, but don't ask questions. The Big Four announcements, or Big Four B-52 announcements. The B-52 is the cornerstone of our air power, and it would be a shame if such a magnificent weapons platform fall by the wayside. We need to enhance and update it. Nice. Got some legislation passed. Cool. Now it's a little bit of time. Dragon? Might as well. Alright, it is still 68. Oh. Polaris? Why not? We're going to go with a lot of uh, research and stuff. So that's all good for now. And then after this one, we're probably going to go with air gunnery emphasis. Maintain missile prioritization. Although our manned air force is important, our missile command and R&D are more so, and we can't forget that. Air gunnery re emphasis. Far too long, now our focus has been on high-tech bombers, and our, our fighter R&D has fallen behind. That's unacceptable. We need to re-emphasize the jet fighter once more. I'm going to go with maintain missiles. Just because I like missiles. Assassination of some dude. And okay, that sucks. Mary Embodin doesn't look happy, so we're also gonna hire him. He doesn't look the happier, but whatever. Oh, goodbye, I'm okay. Nice uh, outfit, dude. Not you, but this guy over here on the left. A tragic loss. Do we not get any stability penalties? Gu I can't vote for control, man. I'm sorry. 
82. I'll probably still do it anyways, but... Uh, why? Why? Is anyone else doing anything funky here? That's a big thing. You're smoking Erhard. Ludwig Erhard, you sound familiar. Are you in TNO? You probably are. Christian Democrat, you're conservatives led by Heath. Or Health. Hey, Heath, maybe? Nice butt chin, dude. Um, what is this? Nigerian Federation? Oh, wait, Nigerian Federation was it? Oh. Yeah, we saw the last time. Michael the Fourth. That's so weird. Mr. Smoker? Um, 15% is not very good. Is there a way I can organize to see how much influence I have over a group? I want to have you guys under us, but still. Actually, would it be good if we uh, got the Saudi Arabians under us? That would be interesting. Or even India. Pakistan might not be bad either. Pakistan would be pretty good to get under our control, just in case we need to invade Iran. Uh, how about Vietnam? Oh, they already are under us. Nice. Yeah, they're a puppet, but... That's mustache. Tao da Tong Dao? We could probably say that completely wrong, but whatever. Close air support, yes, please. What do we want? Do we get Japan? I think we do get Japan. We need China under us, too. Yeah. We want them under us, so. Nice. It'll take some time. That's fine. It always takes just a little bit of time. And once we hit 91%, then we'll get them. Article 9, frontline aviation, nice. Ah, uh, missile stuff. How are you spending this much PP on them? And you're still not getting anywhere. There you go, 91%. And then we'll add them in next. Because Japan deserves to be under us. But heavy napalm integration for quite a few years. Napalm is and is, will always will be a useful tool in clearing our villages and heavy forest cover. Integrating it into our air force will make, it, make us able to deploy it. So you get more ground attack and carrier close air support ground attack. And just a normal cast attack as well. Anything else changes here? Oh, yes, light metals. Revive Texan light metals, metal min mines. Many Texan mining companies have found their mines depleted after the war and were finding issues in expanding to new sources. However, the Texan survey would allow these mines to find new sources of material. Yes, please. Do we need more aluminum? Not really. We need more energy, which kind of sucks, but we're, we're building it. We're building it for sure. Anything else there? No? So we can close out of that. Massive foundry district in Pittsburgh. That'd be kind of cool. Spending more money than you have will incur high... Int interest debt. Someone tells me I don't really care. Okay, so these civil wars end. How much more in debt are we here? Oh, that's not bad. A thousand. Legislation passed. Gun control. Uh, civil rights. 51. Oh my goodness. That was so close. We're so close to not getting that one done, actually. Cool. All right, after that one. Civil rights. Do people need rights? Uh, combat tanks. And yeah, I must keep going all the way. Let's keep going, keep going. And we're trying to get more PP2. Counterinsurgency is going to cost a lot, but that's all right. I like the 0%. 27% is not really going down now, is it? 55%, that's not bad. Keep it going down, keep it going down. That's going down by 16, which is pretty nice. Alright, so we're almost done with that. And we'll have some more research to do in a few months. I wish someone, one of these guys would kill each other off for realsies. That'd be a lot more fun. But what's the Warsaw effect doing? Increased part, party verticality? Interesting. Purges in the Chinese Communist Party? What? They never do purges, right? Republic of Uganda, you're a bunch of. Fascists. Buganda, huh? Tibet? Well, alright. Uh, who's in Switzerland? The Council. Austria? Nice. Heavy napalm integration followed up with Wild Weasels. The Wild Weasels are aircraft equipped with anti radiation missiles and tasked with clearing out and suppressing enemy air defense. Having jets and pilots dedicated to this task will enable the rest of them to perform free worrying about ground fire. So, for a permit for the rest of the campaign, we've got Wild Weasels, more close air support, air defense, and carrier close air support, air defense. Naval unmanned aerial combat vehicle, more air defense, as well as unmanned combat aerial vehicle, air defense, which is uh, pretty good. Well, what's Francisco Franco up to? Nationalist? Mr. Salazar kind of happily smiling. What's Ireland up to? Costello? Huh. Raider? Airlander? Social Democrat Finland? 
Centrists. Um, oh, we got a lot of guys. We're gonna go with Nixon. Let's go with Nixon. Wait, Robert. I Ooh, I don't remember who it was 1968 election. Uh, I think it was. Hmm. As much as I want to do that, I can't. I'm do Lyndon Baines Johnson to see what'll happen. Yeah, that'll be interesting. And here we have, my friends, election of 1968. Even though, apparently, it's not supposed to be LBJ here. It's actually supposed to be Hubert Humphrey. So, I don't think we had that option. Maybe we did. Oh, well, it is what it is. We also have George Wallace here, which would be really awesome. I would love to have George Wallace here, but... As many of you do want right now. Tricky dick time. Cool, so hopefully you were able to see that. A lot of the times with this music, I just get copyrighted all the time and I can't do anything about it, but the Nixon administration. Oh, there's no description here, that kind of sucks. I'd love to have the Nixon administration here, but we still have gun control act? Well, apparently people want gun control. Go figure, politicians don't want peop the average citizen to be armed with all sorts of weaponry. Didn't I didn't want that, but the game clicked it. 50 day focus, that's very odd. What the 50? Aren't these only 25? Why are these so long? I guess they're trying to extend the timeline, but that I don't like that idea. Extend, oh, look, okay, so rethinking of foreign policy is not bad. DMZ stuff. Oh, pressure. Oh, state visit to China. I guess we could pro probably pressure Hanoi next, actually. Ho Chi Minh and his Hanoi cabinet are refusing to listen to anyone, even their fellow communists in the PRC. It's time to increase the pressure on them and force them to the negotiating table. Tricky Dick will be able to solve all of our problems. Which sounds like we're probably going to have the Watergate scandal, but I don't know. It's actually really interesting. With the 68 elections in our timeline, it was Hubert Humphrey, well, I guess it's Dixon versus Hubert Humphrey versus George Wallace, and he did win a couple states, which is actually really kind of cool. So, yeah. Kind of odd, but kind of cool. All the division. I love a divided America. It makes things so much more interesting. And you can never truly express yourself the way you want to do. Or B. Or whatever. I don't know. Let it all burn. Let it all... We still have... We still have racism. No. Oh. Interesting. It is what it is. Let's go Polaris. And what else? Ah, yes. The guided missiles. God dang the guided missiles. Gosh darn it. Also, instead of going to other stuff, I just want to finish off the infrastructure here first as fast as possible because it gives us more construction speed. Or never mind. Research throughput and output. And eh, whatever. This point doesn't really matter too much. It, it'll be all right. Modern education. I want to spend more money, man. I want more wars. For the love of God, I just want to send, like, CIA operatives all over the world and watch people just kill each other off. Can you guys kill each other off, please? Okay, let's go get Japan under us. Hey, Japan! Yeah. Sorry, Kishi. You're out. Hello, Okada. Goro Okada. It's a financial expert, an uh, ideological crusader, and now he's a conservative. Like, Nixon. Who's here? Maoists. What the heck? Russia and sounds like a very tricky dick thing to do. And then we're going to be rethinking our foreign policies. At this advanced stage of the decade, we have now the benefit of hindsight and the opportunity to change our approach to foreign policies, namely whether the containment concept will continue to replace. But first, expand the Phoenix program or end the Phoenix program. Despite the limited success, the Phoenix program is inhumane and more often than not will result in the death of, in a, in, of an innocent civilian rather than a Vietcong soldier. This needs to end now. Nah. Despite our best efforts, the Phoenix program is not large enough, and thousands of common supporters and fighters are still on the loose. We need to double our efforts to stop them. Now, this is probably not historical, but that's okay. Legislation. Oh, gun control. Why? Why? Immigration nationality? Ah, uh, yes. Politicians, they love immigrants. No comment. Are immigrants good or immigrants bad? Well, it's up to for you to decide. I'm not here to think for you, unless you want me to, and I'm still not going to do that. Um, let's see, what's up after this? Well, continued containment policies. Double down in Vietnam sounds amazing. Intervene in Cambodia. Increase aid to Taipei. Increase arms to the Hmong. Expand aid to South Korea. Veto PRC ascension into the Union, the UN. 
encourage further Thai intervention in Southeast Asia and crush Khmer Rouge. Oh. We're going to war with Democratic Kampuchea. That sounds really cool. Reject containment, Vietnamization. Withdraw from Vietnam sounds like the thing we got to go, so. Uh, peace with the National Liberation Front. The t Tar Baby option? A Tar Baby policy enables ever closer contact with the white minority governments of Southern Africa, as well as lessening of economic action against them in an attempt to realize that apartheid while distasteful is here to stay, and so are these regimes. Is that historical? I guess. The Tar Baby. That sounds like a very fun term to use against people. But a military shipyard expansion. The Portsmouth Naval Shipyard in Kittery, Maine is an important production hub in New England for an avian. <laughs> of course, should be expanded. Yeah. Yeah. Technologies? Oh, we love technologies. Thank you very much. Second line aviation, we can't do that one. Let's do this one, though. The Tar Baby option. Conventional nuclear naval propulsion. Now that the designs are in place, we need to advance our nuclear engine research so we can actually power our new supercarriers. Sounds like a smart idea. And so we have Japan under us, right? Yeah, we got rid of Kishi. And do we get rid of the people in South Korea? Are they a bunch of social democrats or reactionary conservatives? Okay. Yeah, they're under us. Oh, you're still fighting down here? Um, who else do we want? I want Thailand. Thailand would be actually really good to get for reactionaries, I suppose. Um, will that ruin your focus tree? Yeah, you're pretty much done with it already. No, it won't ruin it. You're not even doing anything with it. Okay, so let's get Thailand. 42% is already pretty strong. Obviously, it's going to take a lot of time for us to get them under us, but that's alright. That's just going to take some time. And that's what we're willing to spend to get them. How did the Kurdistan expand? The International Monetary Fund. What is that group? What are they doing? Bulgaria's Eastern Bloc's breadbasket. I'm sorry to say, but while they are part of the Warsaw Pact, not exactly communist. They're pretty, pretty monarchist. I'll, I'll be honest, man. Oh, no longer influencing. How, how much support do we have in their or influence? Um, 66. But that's not bad. That's really not bad at all. So are we done with this stuff here for now? Yes, we are. Let's come to artillery. Are we done here? Yeah, pretty much. Happy 69, though, everybody. Happy nice year, New Year. Okay, and we'll do that stuff next. Um, 70. Basic nuclear engines. Yes. These are all to be sent to communist nations. Alright, legislation passed. And up next, I think we, we really need to do one another Nixon thing here. Um, tax reform. Yeah, we could probably do some tax reform. Establish OSHA. Um, urban mass transit. USA Nixon titled the Ninth Amendment to the Higher Education Act. Ooh, that sounds kind of not great. But, let's see. So, like I said earlier, for comments. I mix up Yemen and Oman. Will I do a full conservative run after this one? I don't know if, about immediately. I can do a full conservative, even though someone, some people want me to do a full radical nationals route. So, we'll see eventually. Um, can we play as Goldwater? Yes. Goldwater was an option as a president uh, earlier in, earlier this campaign. Obviously, I didn't choose him. But I would like to play as him sometime. Not sure when, but sometime. Someone says, I should play as U.S. and go 100% anti-communist. Oh, ooh, Zimbabwe. Very nice. Why die for Siberia? Very cool. Someone also says that there's a focus tree for the United States until 1980. That's a long time. That's another decade. So we'll see how... I mean, for every episode, I'm going to try to push as far and fast as we can. Obviously, given time constraints, I can't do as much as I want. Oh, well. And then someone says, I should do Armenia and the Disaster or Death of Peace mod. As well as do Spain and the Thousand Week Reich. I would like to do a little bit more Thousand Week Reich if possible sometime soon-ish. At least at the time of this recording, so... I do apologize for remaining on the screen, just... The FTD focuses are not fun. And I know that the devs have, like, a lot of other things to do as well, but, like... The FTD focuses, oh my goodness. I'll probably do the Colac next. Oh, conversions are over? Well, whatever. Didn't even really notice them. Um, anything else here for research? Oh, yeah. Evaluate anonymous sand mine strainer reports. With the advent of buck we bucket wheel excavators, some sand mines in Florida have begun gathering more than ever. However, some mines such as J Jana have been reporting odd impurities within their sands. We should evaluate these reports to find out if there's anything useful in there. Not a bad idea. Keep building them roads, because we're going to build some more office parks as well, which will be very, very good. Now we close out of that. Economic investments? Nope. Nope. Military don't even care. Angola don't even care either. What is this? Free dockyards. We have free dockyards? I don't want free dockyards. Someone's got to pay for them. Africa. Oh, Rhodesia. Rhodesia still exists. Zimbabwe, not Rhodesia. Oh, we should influence them. You know, if they become Zimbabwe, can I flip them back to Rhodesia? That'd be kind of cool. And Amon, tensions rising. Alright, well, good luck, guys. Good luck. Imperial State. 
Palavi still here. The decline of the National Front. That kind of sucks for you, dude. All right, next up, in about a week, we'll have AGM-12 Bold Pup. Very cool. And I've got a couple days left for that one, too. And eventually, we will influence these guys even more, 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 more. How strong are they? That's a pretty good-sized manpower base. you got no divisions, though, so that kind of sucks for you, but whatever. Very nice. They're still fighting down here. My goodness. 17,000 manpower versus 3 million guys. Bros. Four divisions versus 19. I'm sure these divisions aren't super great, but still. Bruh. Discrete listening devices? Nice. Get some more. Yeah, I love spying on the people. Spying on the people is the best. Um, I keep looking at Asia. How's Afghanistan doing? Mohammed Yusuf. Nice mustache, dude. Iraqi Republic? Where's Saddam Hussein? Saddam, please show yourself. Saddam, please. Go to Myers under us, of course. Uh, those guys, I like the rhino. Nice, Algeria. No one there in Algeria, huh? No portrait here, too, for third position, guys. Ban PCI. Parti Communist Italiano, probably? Yep. The MSI regime. Demand Ticino. God, I'd love to see the Italian Empire form here. I think it would be so cool. That'd be so cool. But after tax reform, we're probably going to end up doing a couple of different things off screen, such as the Coal Act, and probably restore order to urban areas. Ah, yeah. Now I'll do that one first. And we'll probably also do Foreign Military Sales Act, and maybe even Postal Reorganization Act. But hey, unfortunately, I'm all out of town. If you enjoyed the video, though, as we push on to get a little tricky dick here, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. I'll see you tomorrow when we have a little bit more house support, and we can pass a few more things. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.